Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to John's Model Making. Today we're going to start to build the Airfix Hawker Hurricane Mark 1, scale 1 to 48. That's excellent. Now we've got the instructions uh, just here, and uh, we have all the uh, parts in. There we go, in the box. Uh, two decal sets, paint uh, configurations for this. There we go. We have first off is the aircraft flown by Flight Lieutenant Ian Richard Widge Gleed, number 87 Squadron Royal Air Force, Exeter, Devon, England, August 1940, which I shall be carrying out. There we go. And there's just one additional colour on the exterior. Um, I also need to paint the interior as well. I've not done a nerve fix for a long, long time. Um, and that is the second decal configura paint configuration flown by Sergeant Tadius Androsky. If that's, I don't think I've pronounced that correctly. Number 303 Polish Squadron, Royal Air Force, Northall, England, September 27th, 1940. I've chosen that one simply because it could have a bit more painting involved. Um, more colours are better for me. <laughs> anyway, the instructions look uh, straightforward enough. Um, There you go, start off with the seat in the cockpit and as you can see it has um, them down in sprue numbers as well that's uh, the seat in the MRS uh, on D sprue and then the individual colours there so I do need to pick up one or two colours from local uh, hobby craft or Nuffy's model shop in Bolton Town Centre but that is the next project. Let me go take these out. It does look like oh, that's brought there. I don't know how that's happened, but it is. Um, those parts look uh, nicely cut. I'm not seeing any burr on them or excess. I think that might be slightly damaged that one. Let's have a proper look at that one. Um, this sprue looks in very good condition as well. And there we have the size of the plane as well. Panel lines look good. Uh, here, uh, some rivets. And here, we can see some, looks like ribbing on the fuselage and the, the rivets and panel lines look good oh that's got some marks on it but you won't see that once it's painted obviously but that looks great that look forward to putting this one together obviously a separate wrapper for the cockpit and other bits and bobs like navigation lights excellent I don't know how long this is going to take me. I usually do them in between my me, uh, me part work builds. Um, not had it long because it was uh, difficult to find a, uh, a Hawker Hurricane for some time. Whilst that was looking anyway. Well, that looks brilliant, that. We all have the colours on, uh, on the boxes. Excellent. Go with my Spitfire. Hanging up from the ceiling. <laughs> Look real. Anyway, um, what I will do as I'm going through the uh, the build process, I'll I'll put some pictures and some video clips together, and I'll show it all in one go. I'm not going to do two separate videos like I normally do. I'll just do the one video this time, so you can see it from the beginning right to the end. And hopefully, I'll get around to doing some weathering. I'm experimenting at the moment on a P51 Mustang that I um, hand brushed. 
uh, hand painted I should say um, um, it obviously it doesn't look as good as um, airbrushing that's why I'm experimenting on the P51 so that when I do apply it onto these this plane uh, it's a look even better because this will be airbrushed anyway see you soon thanks for watching enjoy the rest of the video bye for now there we go that's the first 10 steps of the Hawker Hurricane Mark 1 uh, this is more or less all the same colour um, that's why I put it all together obviously um, it's, it's a copy area I've done the seats as well but that needs two different co uh, two other colours um, so it doesn't the back of it needs a different colour than the uh, actual seat itself the bucket but that is the first 10 steps just need to put the seat in on, ten, on step 10 uh, but the rest is completed now we've got some details to do on the actual pilot here we have the pilot it's quite detailed quite fiddly uh, to complete that but we went together no quibble excellent Okay, just a quick update on the Hawker Hurricane. That's the underside. There's only a couple of uh, parts I need to paint here and here. I believe that's a footrest or step up to get into the cockpit. Um, that's sky colour from Ravel. Um, it looks pretty good. And there we have the top side of the wings. I do need to put a gloss coat on this uh, before adding the rest. You know, the gun sights here, which look pretty good. Uh, need to put the aerial on here, and obviously navigation lights uh, here, here, and here. Um, well, those are these are navigation lights. These are other lights here. I suppose you could call them all navigation lights, really. Uh, propeller is on its way as well but um, looking pretty good and here we have the pilot that's a little bit better there we go he's looking pretty good his black boots and his area blue uh, outfit I tried to give him a couple of eyes but it was virtually impossible he's that small um, yeah just the nose cone um, there we have the propellers at the moment just gluing a little piece at the back getting that ready there we go so that is 
virtually everything in the instruction manual um, as you can see in the instruction manual here you could expose the uh, the ammo I did include them um, but then decided not to uh, open them up I just wanted to get it nicely painted up um, I'm gonna I need to next put uh, a coat of gloss on it uh, underneath as well as on top and then put the decals on and then I'm going to put some wash uh, enhance these panel lines and see how that uh, turns out I don't like too bad that's it for now a further update with the Hawker Hurricane um, I've applied some wash to the panel lines to enhance them uh, it's had one layer of varnish it needs a better layer next time it's a bit patchy in places but you can clearly see the panel lines have been enhanced with the wash a couple of the decals on the black stripes um there we go doesn't look better not on the underneath yet uh i did start glossing underneath but it's not come off all that well so i stopped i think the ambient temperature is not quite good enough still looks good well, maybe i've got me mixed wrong i'm not exactly sure but uh go again tomorrow but uh, at least you can see the panel lines there anyway don't wait to see about that there's a better shot as well Okay, that's how the panel lines um, enhanced with wash as you can see it does need another coat of varnish on, uh, on this side anyway um, I'm gonna put the decals on next and there you go that's the upper part of the wings wash has been applied to all the panel lines so that looks a lot lot better it does need another coat of varnish like i said the whole of the plane really um but everything is in place now just need to put the obviously the propellers on well there we go that's it for now well there we have it that's the hawker hurricane all completed all decals done uh, well not fully completed it just needs one more coat of varnish 
um, and then I'm happy with it and I've got to fix the canopy put the pilot in on board and we're away well, that is it there's the way it looks you can see the panel lines so I'm quite pleased with that since it's the first time I've done it so that can't pay off have a look underneath oh, that's a bit better wasn't a very difficult build um, but as with all builds you take your time no rush there we go that's better focused and the decals weren't too bad either quite thin enough I did contemplate um, painting these top ones but uh, I don't think they look too bad in the end the bumps on them should be there that's uh, <laughs> just part of the detail of the uh, upper wing oh, it's a is not too bad at all quite pleased with it actually mm -hmm. so another coat another gloss coat keep them decals in place and we'll be fine I did have a bit of a problem with the decal fix um, it did strip some of the paint off underneath so I had to put another uh, obviously I had to redo that at the time um, and then gloss it um, but there's no damage to it it's looking perfectly fine um, it's just one of them things I didn't realize decal fix can strip your paint but it did do so I glossed it and I've not used it again I've just wa put water um, use put the decals on with the water I've not used decal fix even though it's glossed it shouldn't take that off but I just thought I'm not chance it uh, I'll put it like I said all that needs now is one final uh, gloss over it and it's ready to on the shelf excellent lovely jubbly okay so that's the completed hawker hurricane i've got a last gloss of coat put the pilot in put the canopy on and everything is looking fine Panel lines look good on it. Let's just flip it around. And the undercarriage on the wings, like under the wing. <laughs> lower wings, look great. And I'm quite pleased with that. I haven't glued the canopy in place, it's just sat there. But, uh, I was wondering whether to leave it open or not but anyway there we go that's that completed I hope you like that what to do next now the Bristol Blenheim that's 148 scale that's looking really good another airfix kit rather than revel and I've also got Spitfire Mike 2 a by Revel this one is 132 scale excellent stuff and it's a level 4 so anyway let's wait and see so there we go that's it that's a little beauty done there she goes it's gonna look good that i think i'll have it flying all this bit for you excellent stuff there we go anyway if you did like that give us a big thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell and let me know in the comments bristol blenheim or spitfire mark 2a well 
I'm not bothered which one we do actually, but um, I don't know. I think it might be this one next. <laughs> anyway, stay safe and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.